Here's how to do actions in Character AI. So there's actually a few ways to do actions in Character AI, and I'm gonna guide you through all the ways in which we can do this right now. So let's jump into it. To start with, you first wanna have Character AI open, and you just wanna choose one of the AIs and start a chat with them. Now there's a few ways to do actions in Character AIs, and the first way is to use asterisk to mark them as non-verbal actions. So for an example, we will do an asterisk, or one of these stars if you didn't know what that is and you then want to do space and then say whatever you want so you want to send a message like that and as you can see it says have a wonderful day and it also smiles and waves back now you don't have to use asterisk you can also put brackets around it or you can also put quotation marks so, so as you can see it also works when we put in quotation marks and it will be the same when we put it in brackets the AI will typically understand what you mean regardless of how you mark the action. But using asterisk is the most common way of doing it and it will give the best results from the AI. So now I'm going to give you a few more tips on describing actions in character AI. The first tip is to be descriptive because the more detail you provide, the better the AI, the better the AI will be able to understand what you're trying to say. Number two, use consistent formatting. If you start using asterisk, be sure to use them for all actions of your conversation. If you switch from asterisk to quotation marks, it may mess up. And third, you want to be patient. The AI might need some time to learn how to interpret your actions. So even if it messes up a couple of times, just carry on trying and eventually it will understand. So hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully you now know how to do actions in character AI. If you do, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.